Hey, speaking of youth sports, how about the Co County 13U baseball team? The collection of young ball players from Nampa, Caldwell, and Homedale just swept the Pacific Northwest Regional Tournament. They're now heading to the World Series all the way in Virginia, but they need your help raising the money to get there. Every year, you know, it seems like baseball starts sooner and sooner. We we usually start right after Thanksgiving, if not before. These boys have been working since since November. Close the side. It's typical to have at least a three hour practice. And the way that these boys approach and attack practice every day just shows how much they love the game and and their willingness to work for, for their goals and dreams. And last week, those dreams came true. With a narrow 2-1 win over the team from Bozeman, Montana, the Coe County 13U team punched their ticket to the Babe Ruth World Series in Virginia. It, it didn't feel real at first. It was like we've tried so hard. We've practiced and worked hard this whole season, and then just for it to happen didn't feel real. Most of these kids have been together for six years, trying to do that for six years, and we did it. They're an easy team to get behind. They pride themselves on the fundamentals. We have spent hundreds of hours practicing just bunting. And they've formed an incredible bond. Every player has a job to do, and they've put in countless hours practicing, tearing the stitching off their collection of baseballs. It's our it's our bond. On the back of our warm-up is we have trust. It's the trust to do to your left and right, and trust that they'll make their play. Uh, everyone has a job to do. We have to execute it in the moment of truth. All these guys, they're my best friends. Basically, we're family, so it's going to be a blast. As they become the fifth ever Idaho team and the first from Canyon County to make it to the Babe Ruth World Series, they're going to need some help. To be honest with you, the community has been outstanding. They've been unbelievably amazing so far. They've focused their teamwork on fundraising. They've been selling tickets donated by the Sawtooth Sockeyes out in front of local stores, and they even received a big check from the Canyon County Sheriff's Office. It's very important because we couldn't get there without their help. It's a tall task for a team that also has to practice as they prepare to take on the country's best, but it's an opportunity they've earned together, one that will last a lifetime. That's awesome, the fact that everybody's pitching in, and we're going to get to do this. We're going to get to send a team from Idaho to the World Series. So as you heard them say, there has been overwhelming community support, but there's still a long way to go and a short time to do it. They're mm -hmm. going to be leaving on August 10th. So if you want to help these boys out, we have a link to their GoFundMe on our website, KTVB.com. That's smart. That's something different than, you know, years past where now these kids have an actual platform where people can you know, share a link. Yeah. And it's easy. Exactly. It's easy. The first from Canyon County. Yeah, right? very cool. And I got to tell you, you know, very well-spoken kids doing a lot better than I would have been on the <laughs> mic at 13 <laughs> yes. years old. Totally. Thanks, Brady. All right, Brady. Brady. We're back after this.